Hi, how's it going? Hope you're well. From time to time you may find that I record one of these videos where the audio is like bad, like I couldn't possibly intentionally make it this bad. And the reason is, this is pretty much out in the field. I'm surrounded by bamboo, middle of nowhere, between classes we're going to record. Okay, so this one's really quick. So I just want to look at a pattern which, or a method which really cleans up the code quite a bit. Here's my main file. And in my main file, I'm making a bunch of these objects. I'm making a game state struct and also a board view struct. And that's fine, but it is just getting a little, a little messy. See how I need to know all these details up front. There is another method I can use, which is a constructor. So I'll just grab all of this code. And let's say I want to put this into a nice method that I can call. So I'll go over to the model game and in here I have the game state it's struct methods down here associated methods I'm going to make a public function and best practice or common practice is to call this new and this will return an instance of really game state but because self is scoped it's understood that this is game state so what I'll do is just paste in that, that code and I'll just say, all right, we're gonna construct one of these and we have that, there it is. It's complaining that the function isn't being used. That's perfectly fine, we're not using it. So we can just go back to main and now right up here, what I'm gonna use is, yeah, board view, that's fine. Um, I'm just thinking, I'm just going to use game state. So then I'll go right down to the constructor and I'll say, okay, the game state, I'll get it by calling this new function. And that's it. There we go. All well and good. So we can run that and check that it's working. There we go. Excellent. That is exactly what I expect. So let's close that down. And now let's make a constructor for the the board view okay no worries or the renderer so i'll just go over and i'll grab all of this again i'll go over to board view and this is in the implementation for renderer by the way i should have mentioned this before so when i write just a single statement if it matches the return type and it's the last statement of the function, then it is implicitly understood that this is what we're returning. Also, we need to get rid of that colon there. So let's say that we're making this and we want to take the width and height as parameters, but the rest of this can be hard coded. No problem at all. We can just, we can just declare those fields awesome so we have a constructor that takes some input and does its thing and we can just go back to the main and right up the top where are we this board view let's just use the renderer class and I'll go right down and say okay and we're just calling the constructor there So there we have it. Now, right up the top, we'll notice that we now don't need to use these. We're not using these. So I just want you to appreciate, I know it's such a simple video right now, but I just want you to appreciate how much this has neatened up, hard to measure neatness, right? But how much this has neatened up the, the main function. So again, we construct a board view with some parameters and we construct a game state and there it is we can run this and it works alrighty cool so hope you find that as cool as I do in the next video what do you reckon I reckon let's undo moves all right have a good one I'll see you soon bye